Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design That. We've got another experiment today. This is going to be electro etching. So I've kind of fast forward the process a little bit today. Uh, I've already exposed my image on my aluminium plate, which you can see here. I've attached a wire to the back of it. I've got a piece of stainless steel, which is what you need to do the electro etching with aluminium. I'm going to get some warm water put some salt in it and then I'm going to attach a positive to this wire. I'm going to attach a negative to the stainless steel. I'm going to run probably two to three volts through it for about five hours, six hours, and we'll see what we can get. And for this experiment, obviously you need an electric supply. Um, I've picked up this from Amazon. This was 50 pound you can use car batteries you can use nine volt batteries as well but i'm probably going to be doing quite a few experiments with this and also the etches do take quite a long time so i want to make sure that i've got consistent power to make sure that i'm removing as many variables uh, in the etching process as possible so i would recommend getting a bench power supplier for for this electro etching but if you're doing one off or very shallow etches then you can get away with batteries so we've got the hot water i've just got a small cup full of salt here i've got the positive the red wire run into the etching plate. So whenever you are doing this, the positive always connects to the plate that you want to etch and the negative always goes to the sacrificial bit of metal. Let's set it to like three volts, that's fine. You can see straight away that it's bubbling and fizzing. So maybe we can turn it down a little bit. Maybe we don't actually need it. I'm gonna put it to put it to 1.5 volts. I've heard that the, the lower the voltage, the slower the etch usually means the crisper the lines that you're going to get. Obviously, as I am going to be foiling this, I really want it to be as crisp as possible. It's been about five hours now. I've upped the voltage to four volts because it just wasn't really doing much. I'm definitely getting some sort of etch now, as you can see. I've been etching for another few hours and uh, the undercutting is starting to become more apparent now. So unfortunately, this looks like the electro etching also causes undercutting. Uh, I thought it wouldn't according to what people had been saying. I'm going to keep it in there and just try and go deeper and see what happens. So as you can see, we've got quite a bit of undercut in here you can see the dark borders around the the edge of how much it's actually undercut it's probably undercut i would say about one millimeter i don't think there's much point really printing with this because i know it's going to work on the printer it's just trying to get an accurate etch i've just cleaned it up a little bit so we can have a look at the detail of the line you can see that his top arm is just kind of completely etched away the line is actually quite nice and clean I do like the finish of electro etching, but obviously I've etched it too deep and it's just undercut too much. Electro etching is definitely a viable alternative to using the chemicals. I quite like this method because all it requires is just some salt and a power supply. After speaking to some groups on Facebook, it seems like no matter what method you use, you are going to be getting some undercutting when you start to etch deeply. Electro etching does supposedly cause less undercutting but from this experiment it's hard to really see if it has actually improved. It is a nice deep etch but I think the undercutting is quite apparent on this one. If you're doing light etches it's definitely usable and I will use it in the future when I am doing printmaking stuff. I think for hot foil dyes though for when I do need the accuracy I think maybe the only alternative will be to use CNC. And I don't have one of those yet, so I think I'm going to have to outsource this. If you've got any questions about the process, feel free to ask. As usual, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll catch you all later.